what's up everybody, EK Gaming here. Today I've got a house slash base tour video. This is an Ice Spikes biome base, as you can see right behind me. The Ice Spikes biome is one of the rarest biomes in Minecraft, and I've taken advantage of the Ice Spikes that you find, the tallest ones, and turned them into a sort of hollowed out base. Now I'd just like to point out, I was inspired by this video. The link to that video will be in the description below, because I want to make it clear that that was where I got the idea from. The bases that I've made, there's two of them, well this whole thing is quite similar to that, but there's this walkway in the middle and I've connected the two towers together. As you can see there's a farm on top as well, and um, I'll give you a tour of it. Before I do though, I just want to make it clear that I'm not doing a tutorial of this, because it's these spikes, it's a random generation of them, so I can't do a block for block tutorial about this uh, and you can sort of get you can get an idea of where where I came from with this and what you need to do if you come across an ice spikes biome you'd also have to find two relatively close tall ice spikes like this the seed if you're wondering for this is the seed that I did a showcase on a while ago so that's that so I'll get straight into the tour if we go to the bottom of the shortest ice spike, both of them have a door, both of them have an iron door, if we go in. There's a ladder going straight up. And before I go out here, that's the door going out onto the, the balcony area. I'm going to show you the first sort of pod. Actually no, this is this is not the main pod. I didn't really know what to do with this one. You'll see the main one over there. I've got a few carrots growing. This this is more decorative to be honest. Some furnaces and nether warts. And then you've got an armor stand with gold armor on it. Because in my opinion that looks the nicest on an armor stand. Okay, and let's go out onto the balcony now. So this is sort of my idea. Rather than just have a nice spike tower, I thought I would add a balcony connecting the two. So you are completely safe up here. Nothing is going to uh, be able to reach you. Provided that it's lit, it's not actually lit at the moment, which is a problem. But you can do that yourself. I've made it out of birch wood. I feel like the planks, the lighter planks, look nicer with the ice. I've got a potato farm over here. And I've got a wheat farm over here. I'm not sure if these slabs here prevent the water from freezing because uh, the water froze earlier on and I put a slab on and it doesn't seem to have frozen so that might work but you'll have to check that yourself so if you look around it's it's very basic the wooden frame I have just built it I started off with the birchwood planks then I added the framework with the oak wood and then added the farms and underneath I've just put an extra layer of birch wood planks so you don't have the dirt exposed and now let's move on into the taller main ice spike tower this is sort of so that you could just survive and we'll go up into the main tower so this is the tower with the bed firstly you can see that that's the lighting. There's glowstone with a trapdoor over it. So you can see we've got the bed, crafting table, we've got some brewing stands, some furnaces. We've got a jungle sapling, or is that a spruce sapling? One, I think it's a spruce sapling. In a flower pot, there's a cauldron filled with water, more decoration. That's This is decoration, it's not, that's not really a, a proper farm. Stairs, just as a sort of shelf with another flower pot. You've got a clock, which you wouldn't need, of course, but it's there for decoration as well. A jukebox, if you find any discs. Your ender chest, an anvil, and some chests. Now, this space, it's really up to you. It's very, it's up to you how you lay this out. I've just put the things where I think they should belong and tried to make it look as nice as I can. So now let's go to the bottom of this. We started in the first tower, the smaller tower, went up to the top, went down onto the balcony, then we went across into this tower in the top. You can see there's a pressure plate at the bottom. 
and uh, that opens the iron door because the iron door looks better with the blue and it's safer so that is the entire base you can see you've got the pods two pods you can have as many pods as you want of course if you've got more of these tall ice spikes around you can have as many pods as you want you could also try out using these smaller ice spikes but uh, I don't know what you could actually do with them they're a lot smaller there's a lot less space and they don't have this bulge at the top whereas the tall ones do so if you like this video if you like the base give the video a thumbs up please subscribe it helps me out a lot and more importantly tell me what you want to see in future on the channel if you want me to try out a different build if there's other games you want me to play let me know I'll read the comments and I'll respond Thank you so much for watching, this has been EK Gaming, I'll see you guys later.